Don't think. Feel. It's just like a finger pointing to the moon. Don't concentrate on the finger. All you miss all that heavenly glow. Do you understand? Good day, my friends. It's been almost a week since my last video. I've been a little busy last week. Um, what is today? Monday. Uh, I want to talk about something very, very, very important in terms of um, improving one's intonation and uh, accent in a certain foreign language. So, um, I had a very interesting conversation with my buddy, uh, New Styles, a.k.a. Philip. Uh, we were talking, basically talking about listening, like how many times one should listen to the uh, audio. And um, there's also been some other people uh, asking me if I really do listen to the audio for thousands of times. Uh, when I had this discussion with Philip the other day, it was interesting. He said that, um, given that he's given that he's a beginner in terms of learning languages, tonal languages, Cantonese, Thai, Mandarin. He, he, he said that he feels that it is imperative to listen to the audio at least 2,000 times. Now, I've never listened to, I got close to 2,000. I think the most plays I've ever gotten was, um, was it 15, about 1,500 plays. I can't remember which language, I think it was Tibetan, but about 1,500 plays. Um, it's interesting that he said 2,000 because he's a beginner of, of learning um, tonal languages. I think a... Hey, I don't think it's a problem doing that. I think if, if I was a beginner uh, learning, you know, a tonal language, I would probably listen to it 2,000 times. A thousand is a lot, but hey, 2,000, I will, I will listen to it more. So um, I would have to agree with him. I agree that um, at least between 2,000 and 1,500 times, one should listen to a, um, you know, a particular language, like a, maybe an audio track teach yourself or whatever audio course you have, listen to it like maybe two, between two, 2,000, 1,500 times and, you know, and then shadow it. So for me, I'll just, I'd like to go to a thousand, but uh, sometimes I find myself going over a thousand because like I said, it starts to sound like music and I can't help it but to listen to it again. So um, for me, I will go to a thousand, um, but to some people that's too much. But if you listen to it every day, I think you, if you listen to like a track for, let's say, one day, you can get up to 500 plays. Just listen to it doing certain things like chores, um, if you're taking care of babies, anything that you, you know, it's easy to listen. You just, just play it over and over and over. You can possibly get up to 500 plays. So I think this is very important. Um, and I think it's a, you know, accent reduction, too. Um, it will help one's accent when you do this, but if, again, you have to shadow it, you have to read out loud or make videos. Like, for example, um, I'll take my Cantonese and, and compare it to my Mandarin. Now, I've made this comparison before, but a lot of people can see that um, when you hear my Cantonese, it sounds a lot better than my Mandarin. It is, in terms of intonation, accent, it sounds way better than, way better than my Mandarin. And I've gotten this from a lot of native speakers. They tell me that, wow, I listen to your, I listen to your Mandarin video unless you're Cantonese, and it, it sounds like you actually lived over in Hong Kong somewhere, you know. And that's a big compliment. And this is, a, like I said, this is a, there's always a bigger picture to why things are the way they are, you know. Um, like for Mandarin, uh, when I first started learning that, no listening, not much listening. Now I got to hear the language a lot when I practice with native speakers, but I didn't listen to audio that much. So um, when I speak, it sounds like you can tell that I haven't been doing a whole bunch of listening. And that why is because I just because of the, 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 the lack of listening. So I've, I've put in a lot of time listening to Cantonese, my teacher self, listening to it 500,000 times, you know, and shadowing. And it has helped me, it helped my pronunciation, my tones. So um, that's why it's very important to do this. Now, there isn't there's really no shortcuts like when it comes to this there is there's there there are no shortcuts when it comes to listening you just have to put the time in 
and listen to the material over and over and over again. Listen to podcasts, listen to news or whatever. Some people say it's noise, but no, I don't think it's noise. Like some people say it's noise because you can't understand, but that's not the point. Is not that that's not the point. The point is not if you understand it. The point is helping you to become accustomed to those sounds, intonations, those, those basically those sounds. You know, it's just like a a, a child. You know. It's basically like a child, you know, when, like, what, the first year, the first months when a child is born, child's not speaking, just, you know, exposed to all these different sounds, and they're just listening to everything. That's that's how you got to do it. And once it, and then uh, eventually, it, there's going to come a point in time when, when you start speaking, you're going to be able to produce those sounds. You just have to do a whole bunch of listening. This is very, very important. And I hope from my videos, I've shown some great examples Again, my Cantonese and Mandarin, you know, Mandarin, no listening, okay? No, not much listening, but Cantonese, a whole lot of listening. And you can tell the difference. You, you can hear the difference between those two languages. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make a second part, uh, but it's going to be through Camtasia because I want to show you guys the plays. Some people don't believe that I actually, I'm sitting up here listening to audio uh, that many times, but I am and you have to listen to the whole track You can't just begin listening to the track and it counts You have to listen to the entire track and then it will count. I will show you guys in the next part So yeah, that's pretty much it um, for this first part um, If you guys have any questions, let me know um, Other than that, thanks for viewing and um, I'll see you guys in the second half Okay, guys, while we're on the topic of listening and plays, um, I want to show you guys an application that is very, very useful when it comes to um, keeping track of the number of times you listen to a certain um, audio program. As you can see, this program here, it is called Statiz. Let me see. Statistic. It's basically a program that tracks the number of plays you listen, you listen to a certain audio program. Uh, program. So uh, let me show you real quick before we get to the last part of the video. So you have genre five genres five. Uh, this is this. hope you guys see that five decades. Let's see ratings, artists, albums, and songs. So I'll just go ahead and put. Let's say, I'll just do artist for now. Hold on. Okay. So those are all the tracks under um, the artist. Teach Yourself Living Language, Hippocrane. These are, those are different artists. Okay. So I'll go to something like, let's see here. Uh, I'll go to living language. Uh, let's try living language. And as you can see, in number of times played, you click on that. Duration, skip count, play count, track number, genre. So yeah, that's very good. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this. Yeah, and my daughter started crying as soon as she was so quiet. As soon as I started making this video, Murphy Law, huh? Murphy, Murphy Law. But yeah, um, yeah, this it's called Statistic. If you guys have an iPhone, you might want to check this out. Um, I noticed the only thing I noticed about this is like here it says 964 plays, but when I plug it in on my um, over on my um computer, the plays the play count is higher. So I don't I don't know why it does that sometimes. But, I mean, it's still good. It tracks the number of times you listen to the, uh, the uh, audio. So, yep, that's it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and make the last part. And, um, yes. Okay, guys. For the last part of this video, I would just like to show you all of the listening I've been doing lately for all of my languages. Pretty All the languages that I'm, I'm learning now, my, my active languages and my non-active languages. So, um, yeah, there's been uh, several people who have asked me if I really do listen to the audio that many times. 
I guess they didn't believe me. So um, I will show you here and then show you that you have to listen to the entire track in order for it to count. Okay. So as you can see, starting from the top, this is where you want to look. The plays, the number of plays. And they start from the, the, the most. And this is the highest number of plays I've, I've done. Okay, so 1,256. And that was what for check? Wow. Hold on. That's, what's that? That's lesson two. Let me see here. Yeah, so lesson two for check. I listened to that 1,256 times. This is my FSI check, the check fast, tape one side two, 1,124 times. And then that's lesson one. Wow, I listened to lesson two more than lesson one. And then, of course, I'm on lesson three, and I have 540 plays so far. I'm not sure what this is about, 374 for two. I'm not sure what that, I don't know what, what they count, what, what, what exactly they counted there, but um, I've actually listened to it uh, 1,100 times. Or, sorry, no. Um, 1200 times so this is here um, I'm, I'm really listening to the audio that many times and let me play one let me play this audio for you so you can hear it and see that you have to listen to the entire track in order for it to count because I think someone said that you only can listen to half of it or when you start and it would count so here we go I'm not sure if you guys would be able to hear it but it's just I just want you to pay attention to the the, um, the timeline here and then the timeline and the plays. See the number just going to go to 57. So here we go. Lesson two, dial. Passava, Hassan, Pontoa, Sheila. Passava, vaše zavazadla si můžete vyzvednout zde. Passava, Hassan, Pontoa je tam. Děkuji. Dobré odpoledne. Vaše pasy, prosím. Mluvíte česky? Ano. Narodili jsme se tady. Jak dlouho budete v České republice? Tři týdny. Děkuji. Prosím, pokračujte k celní kontrole. Dobré odpoledne. Máte něco pro slení? Ne, vezme je malé dárky. Otevřete, prosím. Tento kufr. Jistě. Všechno je v pořádku. Děkuji. Přeji vám pěkný pobyt. Nasledanou. OK, you see that? So as you guys can see, it went to 57. You have to listen to the entire track in order for it to play. So that's what it is. And like I said in the, in the first part of the video, you can get like five, at least 500 plays in one day if you listen to the audio all day. It's very easy to listen, especially when you're doing chores. So, you, I mean, it's not that it's not really that hard. I mean, it just it seems like a, a lot to the average person because normally people people won't even listen to the audio more than 100 times. But like Philip said, if you're a, if you're a beginner of learning tonal languages, I think listening to a, a thousand or about two thousand, I think it's really good to do that and then shadow it, read out loud because it will help you. It will help a lot with the with the tones. So, yep, that's it. And um, yeah, that's all of my all of my language there. And then Link, I think this is the video I made about Link is where someone asked me if I really listened to the audio that many times. So as you can see, check the first lesson over on Link. I listened to that, what, 10 hundred times, 10 hundred forty-six. Uh, and then German, 1100. And then right now I'm listening to one of those, I think it's the third lesson, 622 times. Now, yeah, of course, the time, because the, you know, like this here, four, four minutes here, you see, this is like that's a very long clip. I mean, I could listen to that over and over and over, but I'd rather have like shorter, um, shorter clips, like at least a minute. If it's like a minute, uh, less than two minutes, though, that's fine. Well, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. But anyway, that's all I wanted to show you in this last part of the video. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think this is too much? Um, do you guys think it's too much to listen to audio that many times? I'm going to continue listening to it that many times. So um, that's just, I enjoy doing it. It sounds like, like that track I just played sounded just like Michael Jackson. That was that sounded just like Michael Jackson. So, all right, then, that's it for this video. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And, uh, yeah, I look forward to your comments or video responses.